but did, what did you see from your, your defense on the play that when Rose missed his shot running along the baseline and, and Gasol had the uh, put back dunk? Yeah, he, dro he drove it. Rose drove it. Uh, we had some help coming over, just like we do every play, every possession. And, uh, shot goes up, the help came, and you know he, we didn't get to him. It was free on the board. From my perspective, we didn't we didn't get a body on him. James, how tough is it to, to lose one that way with, with the three turnovers? Uh, and did you get a good look at uh, Evans' play at the midcourt strike? I have not seen that play. Uh, as we told the team, winning doesn't just happen. You've got to execute. It's a 48-minute game. Teams aren't just going to give us wins in the sleep. we got to go take it. Whether it's a minute left in the game, two minutes, we're up 16, down 16, we want to go get the win. We didn't execute well enough down the stretch to get the win tonight. JP, what, what did you see there on, on your team's last offensive possession? What were you looking for coming out of that inbounds pass? And uh, were you happy with the look Nick got? I like the, the look Nick got. We had another option with that if Nick didn't like it. Nick had a great look at it. I liked his look. Tobias had a great look at it. Thought we executed that play well. We got a good look at it, and we got two shots. In regards to Tobias's clear path foul and Jimmy Butler, do you believe in retrospect that it might have been better just to let him go and get the easy two points instead of having him get the free throws and then not keeping the ball? We don't like clear path fouls. We don't teach that. Coach. Uh, what did you see from your bench tonight, and how pleased were you with the production that he got from that unit? I thought the bench changed the game. I thought the bench changed that game. Uh, we got down early. That group came in with an energy, a purpose, a togetherness, a fight, and they're going to have that every night. That's our challenge to them. They're going to be ready. When their number's called, they'll be ready. Despite the loss, can you take away some positives from Alfred's play down the stretch? And how he kind of took over that game. I thought he competed down the stretch. He was aggressive to the rim. He took what they gave him. He found the open man. Our challenge to him is to continue to do that throughout the game. Every, every minute he's on the floor, we want that energy, that push, that competitiveness. I mean, the, the turnovers on the fast break, it seems like those have kind of crept up and, and bitten you guys all year long. I know it's something you work on, but how frustrating is that to, to have an advantage on the break and then kind of you know, give it back to them? It's probably one of the hardest, one of the hardest things to watch you know, from the sideline is your team is doing so well defensively. They're locking in. They're getting stops. We just have to value each possession. And part of it, you get a little excited on the run, but we have to make good decisions down the stretch. Everyone good? All right, thank you.